My goal today is to build initiatives, tasks, and milestones in QuickScore. I've already logged in and have landed at my homepage. Before I build them from scratch, I'll review an example of where they might come in handy. I'll select Dashboards, expand the Demo Org, and select Marketing. As the head of marketing, I have a dashboard that is tracking two of our key measures, ad clicks and leads. Month by month throughout 2018, I watched the performance of both measures tank. Unfortunately, I didn't have the budget to do anything about it. All I could do is dry the tears from my eyes daily and wait for funding to open up in January 2019. However, when January rolled around, I was ready to take action. Using initiatives within QuickScore, I created an initiative called Increase Quantity of Ad Clicks. My expectation was that if we could increase our ad clicks, we would positively impact our quantity of leads. Beneath the in initiative, I created two tasks and one milestone. My plan was to have my right-hand man Tom Keating spent the month of January thoroughly researching an appropriate ad campaign and target audience for our ads. And I granted him $2,500 to complete each task. On February 15th, I was planning to meet with him to discuss his findings and make a final determination of our ad campaign and audience. To facilitate the meeting, I was planning to discuss it over a nice long lunch, allotting $200 for it. Throughout the month of January, Tom provided updates on each task. On the Research Ad Headline task, Tom provided an update on January 16th, alerting me that he was 55% done with the task and had used only 1000 of the $2,500 allotted for it. On January 31st, he provided a final update, alerting me that he was 100% done with the task and was able to save us $300. Unfortunately, on the research target audience task, Tom had a tougher go of it. Halfway through January, he was behind schedule and over budget. The end of January came and went with no update. But on February 8th, just one week before our scheduled big lunch, luncheon, he advised me that the task was complete, but $300 over budget. Thankfully, the other tasks recognized the same amount in a saving, so the initiative on the whole was on budget. On February 15th, we did connect and Tom outlined a terrific game plan for our ad campaign and target audience. We celebrated for hours and used every dollar of our $200 allotted for the lunch. In the days that followed, we immediately put Tom's plan in action. Within dashboards, I also put together a new dashboard named Increase Ad Clicks and Leads. I use this to closely scrutinize the performance of the measures and the initiative. Up at the top, month by month, I was overjoyed to see the nauseating downward trend stop immediately. By the end of February, just two weeks after Tom and I started implementing the game plan, both measures were trending, trending up. The trend continued in March, and leads even escaped the red for the first time since August 2018. By the end of April, I was beside myself with glee as both ad clicks and leads not only both went green, but I realized a lifelong goal of having leads hit 10% of ad clicks, with 150 leads and 1,500 ad clicks. 
at the end of May, we threw a company-wide celebration as both menu measures continued to skyrocket and our sales went through the roof. To further pat Tom and I on the back, I put together the rest of the dashboard for upper management to illustrate that the boon in performance was completely driven by the increased quantity of ad clicks initiative we ran in January. It was completed on time and on budget, even though one of the tasks ran a bit late and over budget. Okay, with that, I'd like to take a step all the way back and explain how this was put together. Back in January, I went to the initiatives link and then selected new initiative item. I gave it a name, and this time I'll call it Increased Quantity of Ad Clicks Training. I made sure the type was set to initiative, and then I left start date, due date, and total budget blank because this initiative had sub-items to it. I did provide a description, but for now I'll leave that blank for the sake of time, and then I assign myself to it and selected Create in the bottom right. I then clicked on that initiative and selected New Initiative Item up at the top. I gave the task a name of Research Ad Headline. This time I changed the type to a task. And I set a start date of January 1st, a due date of January 31st, and provided a budget of 2500 I also gave it a description, which I'll leave blank again. And then this time I assigned the task to Tom Keating. And then once again selected Create. I created a second task called Research Target Audience, left the type as task, used the same start and due dates, same budget of 2500, provided a description, and once again assign this to Tom Keating. And selected Create. I then created a milestone called Define Add an Audience. This time I changed the task to Milestone, provided a due date of February 15th, and provided a total budget of 200 for the luncheon between Tom and I, and I assigned both of us to that one. And then I selected Create. At that point, I then clicked Done in the, towards the bottom and turned things over to Tom to do the research and keep me updated on the progress. He did that by clicking on each task, selecting Add Status Update, providing a date of the update, like January 16th, putting in a percent complete, like 55, and then a budget spent to date, like 1,000, and clicking Add. When he did that, the schedule and total budget boxes were then updated with red or green colors, which is driven by an earned value management algorithm that QuickScore uses to calculate projections for both. This was a great tool for me throughout January as I was able to see that research tar target audience was running late and over budget. which prompted a few phone calls between Tom and I. 
Now, to simplify navigation, at the initiative level, I added two related items to the scorecard measures, add clicks and leads. I did this by clicking add in the bottom right there and selecting scorecard item, expanding increase lead generation, clicking on the measure and selecting add. I was then able to click on each directly to get taken to the scorecards view where I could smile with glee as I saw the actual values continue to increase from February through May. An automatic backlink was also established within scorecards to take me back to the initiative. Last but not least, I created the dashboard to help facilitate the monitoring of both measures and the initiative. I selected dashboards, selected new dashboard, and gave it a name. Now let's call this training. And select create. I then clicked the plus icon to add two speedometers for add clicks and leads. I then clicked onto the dashboard and adjusted the position of both of them. Next, I clicked the plus icon again, this time selected chart, selected scorecard item, expand increase lead generation, and selected add clicks, and then selected add. I then clicked onto the chart moved it towards the upper right, went into settings, and selected edit chart. And then chose add series, and added the second measure, leads, and click done. To avoid a scale conflict, I then clicked on axis on right, and selected done. To adjust the title, I went back to settings and selected set chart title and just changed the name a bit to add clicks and leads and selected done. And then I can manipulate the sizing and make sure that the items up at the top here were in sync with that. Along the way, I can click Save, and then go back to the plus icon. Next thing that was done was adding a, a chart again. So I'll click that. This time, a initiative was added. The initiative was expanded, and each task was added. Going back to the dashboard, each of those two charts can then be manipulated, resized, I then went back to the plus icon, this time selected the timeline widget, selected the initiative, and clicked add. Then went back to the dashboard dragged it down and resized it. And this provided a nice Gantt chart of the initiative, tasks, and milestone. When I was happy with the way everything looked, click Save, and then Done. 